So I want to begin with a bold statement that robotics is the next internet. It's the next big thing to impact our lives in areas from medicine to even things like space exploration. The more traditional view of robotics is big, rigid, very powerful, very dangerous. But in this case, we're making things smaller, perhaps faster, certainly cheaper than more traditional robotic systems. We are constructing robots the size of insects. Robots made out of entirely soft materials. We use nature to inspire the robots that we build. Nature's had hundreds of millions of years to evolve solutions to things like locomotion in cluttered areas or flight. Our team is working on creating a colony of autonomous robotic bees. We envision that 20 or so years down the road when these things actually exist, they could be quite useful for applications where you wouldn't want to put a human or an animal. Hazardous environment exploration, search and rescue, space exploration, assisted agriculture. There's all these really interesting open questions that must be solved if you're going to achieve this goal. I have to develop new sensors, new computation methods because nothing off the shelf is going to work. We have to build everything from scratch. How many RoboVs have we crashed? Uh, all of them. We build, we test, we build, we test. If you don't fail, you don't learn enough. We build, we test, we build, we test. For everything that works is tens or hundreds of things that don't. The metaphor of bees is just as social insects. They're small, they're not very capable, they can't fly for very long. So what do you do? And the answer in nature is, well, you work together. Now you have this concept where you have not just one all-capable robot, but you have a bunch of not very good robots. The idea is that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. All of this work is aimed at the greater good. Investing in the unknown, it's by far the best route to make fundamental scientific advancements.